Right guys, if you've got this message on your sampler, waiting for hard disk ready, skip. Today I'm gonna to show you how to get your sampler booting up once again, as good as new. <laughs> Here we have an Akai S3000XL, straight out of my rack, and um, it's got this waiting for hard disk ready, skip error. Press skip button, nothing happens. So I'm gonna investigate that today, and tell you what I find. So a quick solution, was just to connect something to the SCSI bus. I've connected a raw SCSI to the back of the SCSI port, literally here, and then into the back of the sampler, and it's come back online. Now, I don't know if that's a permanent fix, uh, and it's even loading. Sweet, so it's reading the, the SCSI, so that's all good. So guys, for those of you who don't know what a RAS SCSI is, a RAS SCSI is a Raspberry Pi powered device that emulates SCSI devices such as hard drives, CD-ROMs for vintage samplers. I'll do another video if you comment down below and leave a like on the RAS SCSI and how to set up all these SCSI devices that are involved with hardware samplers. Yay! So those of you who are new to this, the SCSI ports around the back here, you can connect just your normal SCSI lead onto the back here and connect it to your device. That device can be any device you want. It can be like a SciQuest or whatever you use to save. Okay guys, so the next option is to consult a technician because uh, you have to replace the FS1 component on the board it's a bit of a deep install but you, one good thing is you don't have to take it apart if you're handy with a soldering iron obviously just make sure the plug's off before you do it you can just jump a new one over the top of where the old one used to be so what you're going to do is you're going to look for this fs1 here and that's what it needs replacing and it's a scuzzy fuse or a fuse if you like i found the component to replace it I'm going to pop that in and hopefully it will solve the problem. So here's the culprit. This is the N25K IC circuit protector. I've chopped the legs off and I'm going to just re-solder this onto that. Hopefully it'll work. Okay guys, that's done. I sort of just soldered it and blobbed it in there. It's holding all right. Looks good. Right guys, all done. That is now loading up fine. As you can see, all my samples are loading from my HXC. So yeah, all done. Guys, here's a mad one for you. I've just opened up this sampler and I can see a board here which says it's a 414068J. It's, I don't know what it is. Really interesting. I've not seen one of these before in a sampler. And now I've got the effects board there. I'm wondering if it's got something to do with the effects board. Comment down below if you know what that is. Because this one's some PC effect thing, which is the effects board. But this, what the hell was that? L60. Strange.